welcome back to Grey Matter. Uh, last time, which was before Christmas, we filed some files, we sorted some files rather, uh, down in uh, the professor's lab and now we are in that special part where the experiment took place. Uh, you know, that whole sleep dream experiment, whatever it was. And, um, well, it's time to look a little around. Look around a bit. Let's see. David's computer. Let's look at this. I better not touch Dr. Stiles' computer. He's not exactly the forgiving type. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. What is that? Does it, look, it looks like there's a note on it, right? Right here. Ah, can't touch that. <laughs> can't touch that. Uh, beds. It was nice of Dr. Stiles to spring for the super deluxe lobotomy beds. Nah, <laughs> lobotomy beds. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, curtains. I think I prefer those open. Just so I have the illusion that I know what's going on. Yeah. Bits. Is that all? Ooh, if I'm if MRI equipment. That's the fMRI equipment. Supposedly harmless. An MRI? That's a, that's like a brain scanner, right? MRI? Yeah, I think. I don't know. F? Why is there an F? And why is the F small? Or not capitalized? Huh. Anyway. Doesn't seem like there's a lot to look at in here. There's the bed, the curtains, the computer, and uh, the MRI machine. I had actually thought that there would be more out here. In here. Ah, let's leave. Before someone gets angry at us for snooping. So this is where we were. Can I see... Notes of instruction? Oh. Okay. Oh. That was almost too easy. I feel guilty for taking his money. Yeah. These are just the instructions for the filing. We already done that. Betrayer's Price, matchbook, a jigsaw, newspaper. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, ooh, I wonder, can we go there? To ho ho horse path track? Probably. Let's just check if there's, I think I've explored everything in here and um, yeah, we did the whole filing thing. So I think we're ready to move on with our lives. Do 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 do. Look at that bird. It's angry, I think. Angry bird. Uh, private lab. Ooh. Let's go in there. Probably can't. It's locked. Yeah. The door's locked. Yeah, I figured that. And we can. Look at this. Um, not gonna happen. Not without a few sticks of dynamite, anyway. Let's see. Dynamite, dynamite, dynamite. <laughs> I know I don't have any dynamite. Dr. Styles. Okay, those were the articles we read last time. Let's leave the basement. We did our, our assignment for the day. Unless there's more. Who knows? Let's go see the lady in the kitchen. Mrs. Dalton, I think her name is. Oh, hello, Sam. Can I get you anything? Not right now, thanks. Oh, okay. Um. <laughs> well, that was uh, interesting. Let's just leave the building. Technically, I believe that I can do this. Yeah, I can. Horseback track, but I like going outside, actually. It feels more realistic. If I'd make a game like this, I would have, like, there should be a bus or something you should take. Instead of just a map. I'm not complaining or anything. I just... I just like... Ooh. 
Oh, there's two new locations. Um, what I was about to say is I just like us like ultra realism in games not in the sense that you get shot in the head you're dead but more like you have to use transportations to get to locations you need to eat and drink and sleep and stuff like that and the more thing you can do the more fun the game is um, uh, actually let's leave the map for now I wanna see this um, this thing. Dear Dr. Styles, we are desperate in need of contractors report. Ah I suppose okay. I could take the report over to Do I have the report? Is that the report? No, that's an article. But I don't have the oh wait, no. Lingual article, phone list. Huh. I think this is the the we need to talk to this person right here, Susan Whit Whittier. Uh, donation receipt. Oh, I think this might be it. I'm not really sure. Yeah. Let's go to the Ratcliffe uh, Institute, or whatever it was called. Wait, I, I push them. Come on, thank you. Oh, Radcliffe uh, Infirmary. Daniel Radcliffe. Oh, this doesn't look creepy at all. I like it. <laughs> she's both warm and disturbing, like a crazy mother or something. And she's naked. Uh, what do we have here? Department of Clinical Neurology. Oxford University. Administrator. Ah, and a map. On this floor are all the administration's offices, as well as the professors. Other floors are for classes mainly, so there's no need to go there. Oh, what if I wanted to take a class? Staff kitchen. Ooh, we can go eat. Uh, Susan's office. That's the person we need to talk to. Linkwella. We got an article written by Linkwella right here. That one. Extraordinary powers of ordinary minds. No, that's David Styles. Dr. Styles. Never mind. Didn't we have a link? Ah, here we go. Ordinary powers of extraordinary minds. It's the same title. Uh, we can't go. Oh, we can go there. Oh, that's the exit. Let's uh, let's go to the kitchen first. I'm hungry. I actually am a bit hungry. Ooh, first aid kit. Looks like they're prepared for emergencies. Probably a good idea if Dr. Stiles is in this department. <laughs> I don't get it. Looks like they're prepared. Looks like they're prepared. No, I want to look at the glasses. Damn it. Uh, got some diet drink. Not diet coke, but diet drink. Ooh, pizza. Ugh, no thanks. What, you don't like pizza? Oh, it does look kind of old, maybe. I haven't had pizza in ages, actually. Fridge. I don't see the point in taking a peek into their fridge. Do I don't it. See Ow. Ooh, a lab coat. Can we become a doctor? If you put on a lab coat... Definitely co not my style. Hmm. I'll leave them hanging here. If you put on a lab coat, you automatically become a doctor. Little known fact. Uh, well, really was no point in getting d to go down here. That might be later, I don't know. Let's go, let, I can look at this door. Let's do that first. The nameplate on the door says Dr. Linkweller. Well, that was helpful. Let's uh, head in here. Knock on the door first, please. No! Don't just walk in. Can I help you? Maybe. Hi, I'm Samantha Everett. I'm working with Dr. Stiles. Are you? You're not in the department. No, I'm studying English Lit. Well, that's Dr. Stiles' business. 
When you see him, remind him that I need that equipment receipt today. I have it. I have it with me. It's right here. I think that's a receipt. I don't know. Here you go. Let's talk to this lady. Uh, let's walk over here and talk to her. Let's give her this. I here have you go. something for you. It was that. Yay! Oh my god. I gave up hope of ever laying eyes on this. The auditor's been hounding me for weeks. Hmm. Thank you, Miss Everett. You're welcome. Ooh, my can pleasure. We oh. Can we copy our ass on this? Uh, Dr. Stiles. I've only started to work for Dr. Stiles. I was hoping to find out more about him. Well, it's not my place to talk about Dr. Stiles. I can tell you that Mr. Headley, he's the dean of the department, he was quite an admirer of Dr. Stiles. Naturally, we were all deeply saddened by what happened. Huh? What? What? What happened? Mr. Headley. Would it be possible for me to see Mr. Headley? Oh, I'm afraid we. not. He's very busy today. Oh. Wait, uh, I do appreciate your bringing that receipt. Let me see if he's got a moment. Mr. Yay. Headley, I have a Miss Everett that would like a brief word. It's about David Stiles. Send her in. Well, that was easy. Thank you. W where's his... O oh. Oh, we do it now? I wanted to check out her office more. I wanted to copy my, my ass. Oh, hello. Whoa. This is some office. Miss Everett, a pleasure to meet you. Won't you sit down? Thanks. And thanks for seeing me. Oh. I'm always happy to make time for David. I've heard from him too little of late. How is he? Um, fine. Very self-directed. Well, that's something. Are you a relative? Me? Nope. No. I'm his assistant. He just hired me. It did he? Interesting. Uh, how can I be of service, Miss Everett? Well... Awkward silence. <laughs> that was <no laughs> that was a little weird. Uh, let's look around. Well, we can look around now. Um, experiment. Are you aware that that Doctor Styles is conducting an experiment right now? Of course. He had to submit a plan to the university. Standard procedure. Uh, frankly, I was happy to see him working again. Experiment plan. Oh, that reminds me. Dr. Stiles wanted me to pick up a copy of the experiment plan he submitted. He misplaced his copy. I think, young lady, that Dr. Stiles will have to call me and ask for that himself. I'll tell him. Ah, oh, damn it. Good try, Samantha. Good try. But, yeah. <coughs> Stiles' background. Could you give me some background on Dr. Stiles? I don't know much about him. David Stiles was one of the brightest lights at Oxford. A truly mm -hmm. brilliant and original thinker. He huh. was the sort of man he was easy to envy. Wealth, a prestigious family name, good looks, a beautiful wife, effortless public success. Then there was the accident. A horrific, horrific thing. There's a poem by Robert Frost. Nature's first green is gold, her hardest hue to hold. Her early leaps a flower, but only so an hour. Then leaf subsides to leaf. So Eden sank to grief, so dawn goes down to day. Nothing gold can stay. That's beautiful. I wonder... Never mind. We must be honest with each other, you and huh? I, for David's sake. What do you wonder? It's silly. I just wondered which is worse. To have been golden, to have had all that and lost it, or never to have had it at all. Uh, not at all. Perhaps David asks himself the same question. Huh. Robert Frost. I wonder if he's a relative of mine. I've heard rumors about Dr. Stiles. <coughs> Students say people have disappeared during his experiments, and... Uh, stop. Don't repeat that nonsense in here, please. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> uh, no, it's only natural you would be concerned. He is your employer. There has been a lot of vicious gossip about David. But believe me, there's no truth in it. Then how did it get started? When someone is a little too successful, it inspires a lot of green-eyed spite. 
Should that paragon fall? Let's just say there are certain people who love nothing more than to get out their knives and gather round the carcass. Of course, David hasn't helped himself any. If he insists on living like a hermit in that house, mm. people are bound to believe the worst. Yeah, well. Uh, you mentioned that certain people were jealous of Dr. Stiles and might have spread the rumors. I don't suppose you'd tell me who. It might be good for me to know in case I run into them. Uh, no, I don't think we need to discuss that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, is Stiles dangerous? So you're convinced that Dr. Stiles poses no danger? No danger to, say, students who are participating in one of his experiments? Absolutely not. He may be on leave, but he's still a valued member of this department. I've reviewed his case personally. There's nothing physically wrong with David Stiles. It's been a pleasure, Miss Everett, but I really must get back to work. Thanks, okay. Mr. Headley. You've been a big help. I only wish the best for David. I hope you'll treat him well and be a support. He allows so few people near him. I'll do my best. Yeah. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> she said it almost the same way I did. Uh, uh, can I look around before I like, get kicked out? Ah, apparently not. Can I look around her office? Susan's office? I want to find out who David's enemies are inside the neurobiology department. I should snoop around in David's files. Ah. Let's snoop around these files. Styles' experiment plan is probably in that filing cabinet. It would answer a lot of questions if I could get my hands on it. So we need to trick her. Ooh, ooh and we need to copy it. Hmm. It's a copy machine. That's correct. Wow. Uh, that's a knife. Is that a letter opener? That's a nice. Looks almost as sharp as a knife. Yeah. Look at that. Huh. So we need to get her out of the office so I can make a copy of that thing. Uh, Styles enemies. I guess not everyone in the department is a fan of Dr. Styles. At least that's what Mr. Headley says. Hmm. Is there anyone in particular I should watch out for? Mr. Headley doesn't tolerate departmental gossip, and neither do I. Ah. Uh. Okay. Experiment plan. Dr. Styles asked me to get a copy of his experiment plan, the one he filed with the department. He misplaced his copy. I'm afraid Dr. Stiles will have to come by himself for something like that. Or telephone. We don't give those kind of documents out to students. But... I'll tell him. Yeah. So that... Get Heatley coffee? Uh... Oh! Are we telling... Oh... I'm guessing, I'm not, I'm just, this is just a guess. I'm guessing that we are telling her that she needs to get Heatley some coffee so we can, let's see if I'm correct. Oh, um, Mr. Headley asked yes. if you would bring him a cup of coffee. Did he? That's odd. Mr. Headley gets his own coffee. Oh, yeah. Wow. She's not really dressed for, I don't know. Maybe that's just the way they dress for offices and Damn, she took the key. I need to find a way to snatch it somehow. Oh, so we should tell her to 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 bring him another cup of coffee. Oh, can we? <laughs> he needs another cup of coffee. I need to snatch the. I can't even see the key because of the chair. Cup with key. A cup of keys. She keeps the key to the filing cabinet in that cup. I could try to take it with sleight of hand. Ooh. But she's a real hawk. This will require something a little more devious. Ah, oh, we need to do some magic. I think. She keeps the key to the filing cabinet in that cup. I could try to take it with sleight of hand. But she's a real hawk. This will require something a little more devious. Yeah. How do I... There we go. We're gonna do some magic. 
It's a kind of magic. Okay, so we need to. That trick doesn't. Fit. That's not a trick. Oh, I, oh yeah, I forgot. I can't. I need to use the arrow keys to. To uh, yeah. Change the page. The locked room. Oh, uh, that doesn't sound right. The destroyed and restored ring trick. Divide and conquer. The last great disappearing ink trick. The shredded and distorted newspaper. Uh, mailbag, I already done that. I don't think I'll... The bottomless cup. Ooh, a cup! Nah, probably not. Let's, uh... Well, we'll, we'll get back to that. Telephone psychic. The super gross-out self-healing wound. Up in smoke. Fruit bowl. Cup and ball psychic. Let's try the first one here with it. Let's uh, read the bottomless cup. This is a confusing, confusing and effective little visual gag. You'll need some some props, a small magnet, a cup, and a small item made of metal. Let's see if. It's, uh. Yes, that ah. should work. But I'll need a magnet. Okay. Let's go get a magnet then. I'll be back with a magnet. Don't you worry. I'll be back. I'll be back. So let's go to the magic store and buy ourselves some magnet. I think I saw one in the magnet store. I mean, um, the magic store. I've been to a magnet store once, actually. That was a that was a weird experience. Just a store that only sold magnets, refrigerator magnets. Uh, it was in San Francisco on that, uh, whoa, a new person. That uh, place called Pier something, I can't believe, down on Fisherman's Wharf. Woman selling what? Oh, flowers. Let's buy some flowers. She's selling wildflowers. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's talk to her. Hi, I'll take a bunch of flowers. God bless you, miss. Now I've got a flower for you. Ready? Ooh, isn't that lovely? Beautiful. Thank you, miss. Wait, Don't what? stay out here too long, will you? You'll catch a cold. Oh, God bless you. <laughs> what? Okay, did we... We bought a flower and gave it back? I don't know. Okay. Magic store. Red Lion. Uh, Queen Street. That's where the magic store is, right? I think that's on Queen Street. Uh, I guess we'll find out. No. Okay, I think one more. Let's run. What's that? Oh, here we go. Black Want. Gonna go in there. Good day, Miss Everett. Good day. Hi. Mr. B uh... Mephis... Yeah, whatever your name is. What's your name? Okay, Magnet. I'm looking for a magnet. None of these items seems to be a magnet. Okay. I've seen that. I'm certain there's a magnet around here. Mac... Net. There we go, a magnet. I was going to buy a few things today for my nephew. He's just starting out. Your nephew has good taste. Yeah. I still find those items useful myself. Take what you need and pay me on the way out. Thanks. All right. Um. So we got the magnet. I want to see, was there anything more? Oh, I got flowers. Uh, where's the magic book? Magic book. There we go. I want to see if I need anything else for the trick before I uh, go back. The bottomless cup. Uh, cup. A magnet. Okay. Um, doesn't seem like I need anything else. And let's uh, leave. See you later, Mephisto. 
I picked up a few things. I need to pay you before I go. I know what you took. Ah. Twelve pounds, please. There you, you go. You trick that one. Wait. Merely a shopkeeper's necessity, Miss <laughs> Everett. Enjoy your day. Thanks. I will. Yeah, and you too, Mephistos. Mephis... Me Fuck, I forgot. Something with me Mr. Fificulus. I think it's... Yeah. <laughs> I think it's the name of a Greek uh, philosopher or something. Okay, well, we can just do this. Let's go back to Radcliffe Infirmary.